Hi, hello everyone, Ruby here, and today I'll be showcasing a new game that just dropped. Um, the game's called Rotwood. Um, it's a game I've been looking forward to um, since the game is a dungeon crawler, and I love dungeon crawlers. I primarily play dungeon crawlers with my little one. She loves playing games like this too. And an example of a really good dungeon crawler, uh, crawler to play is a game called Cat's Quest. Uh, one and two is pretty good. And so here's Rutwood, and we'll go ahead and um, take a look at how it runs on the Lenovo Legion Go. Now, um, for starters, like I always do, I'll showcase the settings. Um, I have my Lenovo Legion Go set at. And so you notice that my Lenovo Legion Go is running in performance mode. I can see um, the TDP is in performance, which is 20 watt TDP. I do not have the FPS limiter enabled. And the OS power mode is in efficiency. Now, um, the resolution I'm also running the game at is uh, 1920 by 1200, basically at 1200p at 60 hertz. Um, with Radeon, um, with RSR working, Radeon Super Resolution enabled. Now, the built in frame monitor for the Lenovo Legion Go as of today, at least on my Lenovo Legion Go, still isn't working. So, I'll be using the one in Steam. To be able to get a FPS readout, right now it's a 60 FPS, which is expected since I'm just on the screen here, I'm not doing anything. So I'll go ahead and start a local play session, so you guys can see how it is. There we go. We'll go ahead and select a um, a character, um, a character slot. Let's see here. Hmm, I love this one here. I'll pick this one. And then, let's see. Can I change the color? Huh, how does this work? Okay. Oh, I see, okay. So let me go back here and then I can pick the color. There we go, I'll go with, um I'll go with this black one here. It's pretty cool. And I'll go ahead and save changes. Oh, wait, you can actually edit the head also. Huh. Let me do this. Let's see. Huh. That is pretty cool. Okay. I'll select this one. Let's see the body options. And since I'm a guy, I do not have boobies. So I'll go ahead and um, select this one here. Yeah, I'll select this. Hmm. Okay. The white top. Now I'll just go without any. Save changes. Okay. And I love this art style when it comes to dungeon crawlers. Um, another game that has an art style similar to this that I loved a lot was um, Cult of the Lamp. And that was a lot of fun too. And so let's see here. And so right now, FPS is, at, is hovering between 57 and 58 FPS. Uh, but there's not much going on on the screen, so that's expected. And the art style is really, really nice. My daughter's gonna love this when we're playing this later on today. It's very cute. Oh, that's the word she's probably gonna use. <laughs> that the characters are pretty cute. Okay, so this is kind of like a tutorial. X for light attacks, Y for heavy, and then you can use skills with B and A to dodge. Okay. And you can drink potions using the left bumper. So do I go here? 
Oh, okay. I guess I just venture for it. No, no, I can't go anywhere there. Oh, okay. There we go. And so I'll disable mouse aiming since I'm using a keyboard. Um, since I'm using a, uh, the control on my Lenovo Legion Go. Oh yeah, she's gonna love this. Especially when we play together. Nice. Now, even though the art style is pretty cute and um, nice like this, or cartoony like this, the game isn't necessarily that easy. Now, for those who have played Cat Quest 1 and 2, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll go ahead and take that. Oh, okay, that's nice. Oh, my magnetic connector went off. Oh, that does a lot of damage, this special attack. Nice. So you can combo too, let's see. This is uh, Sigrun Power, each time you kill an enemy, Gain six critical plus five critical chance for 10 seconds. Let's do this one. Stage fall when you quick rise, heal for 50 health. Huh. I'll take the critical chance. Let's see. So, the pathway here. Okay, we'll take this way out. There we go. Ooh, so the environmental stuff, okay. So I can trigger this then. Nice. That was easy. Okay. Extroverted. Um you enter a new clearing, gain when you enter a new clearing, gain plus five um uh, plus twenty-five percent damage for thirty seconds. Ha, huh, that is really good. Parting gifts, when you dodge, launch a pump at a random direction. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Plus damage for 30 seconds, sounds good. Okay, so the only way is just up this way. Yeah, we're gonna have a blast playing this today. Oh, I can see it on the armor too. On the, um... Oh, I was trying to bait guys in there. I'm probably gonna die here. Ooh, love that. Now, let me heal. Oh, so you have to hold their left bumper. Okay. And as you can see, the game isn't that demanding at all. Uh, the game's been playing at 60 FPS. Um, and I'm playing at, um, let's see, at 1200p on the Lenovo Legion Go. And so it plays really well. It's not a demanding game. I'm sure it's gonna play pretty well on my Steam Deck also over here. Let's see what's here. Okay. And that's it, guys. Oh, actually, before I leave, let me do one more thing here. Okay, we'll just say gotta run. I'll talk to him in a bit. And so this is the main menu here. Let's go to options so you guys can see what it's running at also. Oh, it's running at... Huh, that is interesting. It's running at a different um, resolution than my... Um, because same max resolution at... Um, 2160, but my Lenovo is set to 1200p. Interesting. I'm hoping it's not pulling um, device data from my gaming desktop. Um, that might be what's going on there. But all the effects I enabled, like I said, it's not a demanding game at all. And I'm able to play it at 1200p, which makes the images very, cr very, very crisp on my Lenovo Legion Go at 60 hertz. I'm certain I can probably push this to 
144 hertz. Let me do that and see. Okay, when I did that, the um, the frame counter dropped to 51, 52 FPS. And so I'll go ahead and put it back at um, 60 hertz then to get my constant 60 hertz at 1200p. There we go. And that's it, guys. That is um, Rotwood on the Lenovo Legion Go. Um, if you're interested in picking this up, um, it's a quick, easy, um, low demanding um, dungeon crawler. I love games like this. Like so I play this with my uh, my little one, my eight year old. We love playing games like this. And so if this game's right up your alley. It's on this in the Steam store right now for $9.99. It's on sale. And that's it guys. Happy gaming. Ruby out. Peace.